Yo, what's going on guys? So, I want to make this video because I get so many comments, okay? And, and this is a comment that's not only on my channel, but a lot of your favorite content creators that pub stomp and just play competitive or... I don't play competitive, but any Call of Duty creator that you watch, I'm pretty sure you see some comments that are like, Dude, how do you have no recoil on your gun? You must be using some kind of program or you must be hacking or you must be cheating. I've seen so many comments that I've never even heard of. Like, I've heard of a Zim controller or a Zim PC plug into your console type thing some of these other things I've never heard of like I've, I've been seeing some like b2 volume 4x version 2 type you know, turbo 432 with some beef flop beef and I'm like what oh I'm like what is that if you guys didn't know playing Call of Duty it, it, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of everything is mental a lot of a lot of the gunfights that you're in a lot of the situation a lot of you dropping nuclears a lot of it is gun skill a lot of it is map knowledge a lot of it is just being good at the game but a lot of it as well is mental Mental. It, everything is mental. So I'm gonna do my best to help you guys with mental cues when it comes to using a controller, um, using the Vesper or using the Spitfire. And I'm gonna try my hardest to explain. This video is gonna be so freaking weird for the people. And this this video does not apply to the tryhards that already know how to control recoil. This is for the people that are always like, how do you have no recoil? It's not a glitch. It's not a hack. Everything's mental, and it's, it's kind of how I hold the controller. So I'm gonna hop into a game here. This video is gonna be so freaking weird but i'm gonna show you guys what i do and hopefully you guys get a good understanding so let's get into the video make sure you guys drop a like if you guys want more in-depth analysis on how to be a better player a lot of it's mental like i said i'll put i'll put more videos out for the channel for like some play-by-play -play nuclears or some you know mental stuff <laughs> Let's get into the video. All right, what's going on, guys? This is going to be a breakdown video. I'm going to lower the volume just a little bit, but um, the Spitfire class is right here. The volume's not loud. I'm sorry. This is, like I said, a breakdown. I'm going to do a play-by-play. -play. A lot of you guys seem to enjoy play-by-play -play here. Uh, if I get a nuke, I get a nuke, but it, it's very difficult to explain how I control recoil. Like, a lot of people think... Yeah, it's a little bit loud. I'm gonna turn it down one more. A lot of people think that there's some kind of software, and, and and it's just it's amazing. It's mostly the critiques and the haters that say these kind of things, but most people are commenting things that I've never even heard of. You know what I mean? Like people are always saying, "Yo, you're using some kind of software." I'm like, "Bro, what? What software? Two four thirty two Zim X two forty two? Like, what is that, dude? Like, how do you even do that?" So here's what I do. I I it's so hard to explain, but I flex unintentionally. Flex my wrist. So there's three people right there. Am I gonna push it? Probably because I'm a little cracked right now. Okay, never mind. So what I do is I firmly hold the controller. This is probably gonna be one of the weirdest videos I make, but I'm always regenerating my health so I can get back into the action. So I know that I'm confident with all of my gunfights here. So I'm full health right now, right? I'm peeking the left probably, but I'm gonna pre-aim this. Flexing. I see. This is why I can't. I can't play with L2 and R2. I can't aim with L2. I can't shoot with R2 just because. Firm, it's, it's hard to explain, man. This is probably going to be the most unorganized video here. Oh, wait. I have full streaks. But I have to flex my wrist and hands to firmly get a good accuracy on, on these people. Because if I just loosely... Thank you. If I just, well, that guy wasn't even playing. If I just loosely hold the triggers or hold the controller, my aim is not going to be good. So if I hold the controller a little bit more tightly, actually not a little bit more, but a lot of bit more tightly, that makes any type of sense. I'm going to have really good accuracy when it comes to just locking onto targets and just cracking out kids like that. Not like that, but like this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to dip out really quick and just get a better uh, position on the left side here. I never hold the controller loosely. Like, I always make sure that I have good accuracy on these enemies right here. So, uh, a little bit a little bit of practice. I'll go in the back spawn over here. Let's just say I hold the controller loosely, right? Boom. Right here. It's a little bit... Well, it kind of looks like I don't have recoil. Wait, I don't want to... Wait. I hear somebody. <laughs> so, if I hold it tightly, you could cut... It's a mental game as well, you know? Like, this video is probably going to be the most confusing video, but I wanted to give you guys mental cues when you when it comes to playing Call of Duty. Like, it, it's a mental thing. When you watch somebody play Call of Duty, it looks like there's no recoil. It, it really does, because you're not the one that's playing. But when you hop on the sticks, it's like, damn, I have recoil on the Vesper. It, it feels like it, because for one, it, you just, you're so used to... Okay, that guy's really not playing. Whoa! Oh my god. For one, you're not the one that's playing. You're the you're the one that's watching the game. And two, there is recoil on the on the Vesper or on the Spitfire, whatever you want to call it. It's just you have to really control the recoil, and it's very satisfying to get a kill in this. Well, I do not want to die. We're on a streak right now, and we are just we're kind of cracked right now. 
pre-firing everything, you know what I mean? Jumping, pre-firing, not, not necessarily pre-firing, but just knowing, anticipating where enemies are going to be at. That's the most important thing here. You got to... You gotta really anticipate, you gotta be cracked out on your movements and stuff. I'm gonna probably die right here. I'm one shot. He's gonna be behind me. I know he's behind me, so I'm gonna pre-aim this. I have a firm grip on the controller right now. Firm grip on L1 and R1. Am I gonna beam this guy? I don't know, but I've, I have really firm... Uh, I, it's hard to explain, man, but I, I have a firm grip on the controller right now. I'm, I'm just gonna call him the drone squad just because I don't want to get clapped right here. <gasps> wow. Wow, wow, pre-firing, boom, that's the only downside to that. We haven't even died this entire game yet, this is kind of like a, it really hasn't been a play-by-play. -play. Wow, dude. Okay, let's get cracked out, get some good accuracy, hold the controller tightly, man. Just having a general idea, just drop the nuke, boom, I don't even know who we're playing against. We're, it, dude, it is freaking 3.30 in the morning. What is it, what's today, Friday? So we got, we got kids, that, we got kids on break. I think winter break just started for these kids, and yeah, winter break just started. Uh, Christmas noobs have arrived. I, I've been playing Christmas noobs all of my entire life, but it just got 10 times more apparent in today's game. This is like the second or third game of TDM that I played uh, today. I haven't been playing today at all. Uh, I just started playing around like 2.30 a.m., but yeah, man. It's just, um, it, you gotta, it, it, like, I tried to explain it in the video earlier, but it, it's really just mental. Like, I want you guys to go into your next game feeling more confident in your shot. Like, when you, when you aim down, don't just, like, loosely, like, you could tap it a little bit, just don't loosely hold your controller. Firmly hold the fuck out of your controller and try to manage the recoil, if, you, if that makes any type of sense, you know what I mean? Let's just call the streaks in to get this over with. I am currently 38-0. Right there, readjustment, bam. You know what I mean? You, gotta, you just gotta get all these shots down. And the more practice you get, the better but the better your Spitfire will be. You know what I mean? The more practice you can get with your shot, the better in general you just are, are gonna be at this game, if that makes any type of sense. And hopefully you guys did enjoy the breakdown. It was a semi-breakdown. It was nothing too serious, but if anything, I'm just trying to give you guys mental cues uh, to help you guys win more gunfights with the Spitfire. The Spitfire is probably one of the most dominant weapons in the game. Like right there. Readjust, reset the gunfight, regen, all the way to 150, regen, boom, last kill, boom. We just went 50 and 0, doing a play-by-play. -play. The like bar is a determining factor of what kind of videos you guys want to see on the channel. So if you guys want to see more play-by-plays, a little bit more mental tips and cues when it comes to playing Call of Duty, let me know in the comment section, and also drop a like. Also, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new guys uh i just want to say briefly i appreciate the fuck out of you guys man uh by the way I, I did raise the volume on this so if you guys hear a louder volume on the game um i'm sorry about that so don't adjust your volume if need be but i want to say big shout to all the people that are showing matt support on my instagram like i don't really plug it that much yeah i don't really plug my ig that much but when i do you guys just show mad support and wow wow that's one two what are these guys doing bro they're, they're not even playing. I don't even have to worry about these guys. What the freak? Oh, wow. They just timed that right in front of me. Are you actually kidding me? But for real, big shout out to all the people that are showing mass support on my Instagram. If you guys didn't know, I did cop a new car. Obviously, people are going to come with the car, and I don't mind. It's not like a big surprise. A lot of you guys saw it on my Instagram. And we've I think we've gained over like 3,000 Instagram followers since I posted that picture. Big love. Mad love to all the people that showed love. Wait, what the hell did I just say? Thank you guys for following me on Instagram. I really do appreciate that. Car vlog will be coming soon. I did promise one vlog a week. I don't know. I'm pretty sure some of you guys that watch the videos don't even care what I do IRL, which is fine. Like, uh, this year, I really want to focus on videos that I want to personally make, you know? Like, this game, there, or this channel is 100, well, not 100%, but mainly revolved around playing Call of Duty, providing tips and tricks, and just pub stomping noobs, and that's it, man. You guys know what I mean? But when it comes down to the wire, I have to also look out for my own stuff, you know? Like, my own health. And, and just not not being too stressed out on making X amount of videos per week because at the end of the day I do upload every single day. Can it get stressful? Yeah, but I really make that excuse saying yo It's so stressful playing video game. Not really. I mean in a sense you can because you know make what the fuck? Hello? 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 Making videos and coming up with ideas and editing them. Now, I don't really edit too much, but when I do, it's just, you know, it's it's weird. I, I upload every single day, so it can get tough sometimes. But, um, when I know I can upload a video, let's say a vlog once a week, that's one video out of the seven days where I know what I can make. You know what I mean? Like with Call of Duty, I'm not saying I'm running out of ideas. I feel like with this game, I can just make whatever and just, and just talk to you guys. And honestly, I have a lot of ideas when it comes to Call of Duty. It just... It's not the most stressful thing for me. 
But, um... Like, I just made a video- Oh, we're on Ruthless right now. I just made a video with Sprat. Optic Sprat. Oh my lord. Don't tag me, please. I want to start doing more collaborations over on the channel. It's really fun just collaborating and making videos and just... Oh. Uh, combining both energies from both content creators into one video. I always thought that was amazing and just fun, you know? What the hell are we doing right now, Chief? Also, in the comment section, if there's another content creator that you want me to collaborate with next, let me know in the comment section because I am willing, regardless of how many views it's going to get, I don't care. I want to have fun this year, you know what I mean? Like, I want to have a lot of fun with this YouTube channel. Whether um, some of the videos are going to cater to X amount of people with like 80,000 views on that video, I'm not going to care about the views on each video. I'm going to take a video, one video at a time. We're about to drop this nuclear while I talk about this bullshit. I don't care about the views anymore, honestly. Like, as a YouTube creator, as a YouTube content creator, we all care about views at the end of the day. But in terms of just maintaining sanity, you know... What the fuck? We're on a brutal right now. I kind of want to just upload what I want to upload. Like, I'm not going to change the games, obviously. There might be a few videos here and there, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you know, me doing one vlog is not going to hurt. If anything, it's going to help uh, engage my, my audience that watches me for everything. Even better, you know what I mean? What the fuck is it? Yo. Bro! Oh my god! I... Chief, we no 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 no. We just went on a 27 gun streak and died to that because I just messed around. Are you kidding me? If you guys want to get cracked out on Call of Duty, all you guys got to do is use code K3. Links in the description box. Go try them out. Focus supplements. Go give it a try. Adios. Yeah.